Hey, this is Mike Bloom, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you as a student how to uh, schedule an advising appointment with your uh, faculty advisor. So you will go into your Blackboard site. I'll go into Blackboard, log into Blackboard, and you should see your academic adv advising site here. And I'll click on my academic advising site. And I'll get a lot of information here. And the link that I'm interested in is schedule an advising appointment. So I'll click on that on the left-hand side. And I've got some basic instructions here if I want to read those. Otherwise, I can just follow along with this tutorial. You'll notice all of the advising appointment times are listed. And it says when sign up is available and whether or not the places are filled. So there's zero of one place is filled, zero of one place is filled. This list is full, so I can't sign up for the 9.30 to 10 a.m. slot. So let me go ahead and sign up for the 8.30 to 9.30 slot. That's a nice hour-long slot. So I'll click on that link, and all I need to do is click Sign Up Now. It'll process my request, and then it'll show me that I am now a list member in that site. And if I go back to schedule an advising appointment, you'll notice now that list is full. But let's say that I decided that I wanted to change my advising appointment to 8 to 8.30 because I had something scheduled at 8.30. Well, I can go in to the 8 to 8.30 appointment, click Sign Up Now, and now I'm registered for that 8 to 8.30 appointment. But now the thing that I want to make sure to do is withdraw from that previous appointment. So I go into Schedule Advising Appointment, and I go to the 8.30 to 9.30 time slot where I have previously registered. And if I hover over my name and my username, over my username you'll see a downward arrow. And if I click on that arrow, you'll see Withdraw. And it'll say, are you sure you want to withdraw? Your place may be given to someone else. And I'll say OK. And that's it. Now if I go back to Schedule Advising Appointment, you'll notice the list is full for that first, first advising appointment that I wanted, and now it's empty for the second advising appointment, so I freed up the slot for another student who may want to register for that time. Um, and that's all. The only thing you need to do after that is make sure you show up for your appointment.